say hi guys welcome back to my mom's channel Like everything else back. But 
yeah i find that extremely annoying also the fact that on instagram i got like the blue check thing you wouldn't believe the amount of people that have like said stuff to me about it oh i have never i haven't used this stuff in so long so like hopefully this turns out okay the people that have like said stuff to me about the blue check like oh that's so funny you've decided to buy that like yeah i've decided to buy it like the funny thing is the amount of brand deals i've gotten from the blue check like i haven't received this many in a very long time and like once again none of your business also stupid me i did put let me get like a wrap i did put dry shampoo in my hair beforehand not thinking this was going to be like the hair look I was gonna go for. I know this is not the right brush, but it works. The one bad thing about this gel is I feel like it dries so fast. I literally feel like I'm dance again when I was a dance when I was little. We used to have to like slick our hair back in like a high bun. Uh, I literally feel like I just got like a little facelift. Beauty is pain. That looks cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna straighten like these like little bits. But yeah, no, the amount of people that have like literally talked shit that have said like that's hilarious, you bought like the blue check. I'm very transparent. I feel like I'm like an open book kind of person. And I like will not hide that yeah, I did pay for it. But that's because like I actually like take my social media like pretty seriously and like do YouTube. I've been doing YouTube since like 2017. That's a long time. Seriously, like a really long time. And then I go back to like, why do people care? Like, why do you seriously care that like I paid for it? I just, I don't understand it. I don't understand the fact that like people give a shit. And it, it, like, I wouldn't care if it's like people I didn't know, like trolls on the internet and stuff. That, I don't really care about because I can be like, oh, like, you just, you know, whatever. But the fact that, like, people that have known me, that bothers me. Perfecto. Hair is done. I don't know if I'm liking this top, I'm gonna be honest. I just cut it not too long ago. Okay, next, I'm gonna do my makeup. First thing I'm gonna do is do the Road Peptide Glaze stuff. I really like this. Oh! I really like this stuff. Like, I know people don't like her, but like, her products I feel like are pretty good. Like, I just like how it feels. Don't have noticed as I got as I've gotten older, and I know this is like nothing new, but the bags under my eyes have driven me crazy. Like, I can't believe I can't believe how bad my eyes are sometimes some days. I'm going in with the Fit Me Maybelline Tinted Moisturizer in 220. Some days I'm just like, wait, why are my eyes so dark? Like, I get enough sleep. It's not that, like, I stay up until, like, 1 a.m. Just not me. I don't feel like I'm that stressed out. Oh, also, speaking of stressed out, I have a therapist now, and it was the best decision I have literally ever made for myself was to get a therapist because I'm the type of person that will bottle every single thing in until I literally snap. And that's not good, obviously. So I got a therapist and he's so chill. I really, really like him. And I have another therapy sesh next week. And I'm so excited to tell him literally everything that's going on because I feel low-key he agrees with me on a lot of stuff and he also hates social media with like a burning passion like he just doesn't understand why people even have it and he thinks like it causes so much drama which it does um but i just like the way he thinks and i'm the type of person like i don't believe that medication for me is the answer like i feel like it might work for some people but for me personally i don't really use medication like i don't really take tylenol i don't take motrin when i gave birth to arabella i literally just took extra strength tylenol and i was like fine i literally only took that for like the first two days so i just like i've never been the type of person that like wanted to get help to heal medication 
Like if that if that is you, like that's cool. Like I know some people like actually want to get on antidepressants and you know like all that stuff. Cool. Like 100%. Make sure you're good. But for me, I just feel like I need to vent. Also, I need a new makeup brush. Like this one's just falling apart. Okay, then to set it, I go in with my CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Press Powder. Uh, color 840 Natural Beige. I love this stuff. But back to what I was saying, he listens, obviously, fucking therapist, but it feels good just to talk to someone that's like, that doesn't know you. I think that's what I really like about it. Like he doesn't know anything about me, know my outside people other than like what I tell him. And he kind of just gives me like a new perspective of thinking and looking at things, which I really, really like. I love how I'm literally wearing a lot of makeup for my sister's birthday. Okay, I'm going in with the blush, Kylie blush, 337 Pink Dreams. I love this brush, but I mean, I love the blush, but it's very like pigmented but also i love anything that she does okay then i'm also going in with the toasty kylie contour look how bad this is guys i have a new one like it's right here i just don't want to open it i know i feel like this gives the literal perfect amount just what i like okay Eyes. Going in with the 35F Morphe palette. I love like all the. Oh, why can't I open this? I love all the colors in this. But tonight, I think I want to do like a brownie color, like almost like I think I'm gonna do like this lighter beige on the inside, and then like on the outside, do like dark. I use like literally all of the wrong brushes and how I like to do my makeup. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with freshen up this like brownie color. Oh, this has pink in it. Fuck! Ah. I'm 1 trillion percent not wearing fake eyelashes. I bought the ones, so I stopped getting my eyelashes done and I started doing them myself. Worst mistake ever. I literally ripped out so many eyelashes because, so I basically did it for Arabella's birthday. Like the ones that you buy and then you like, do the adhesive and do because I watched a lot of TikTok videos and every single one said how easy they were to do. Ooh, should I do? I'm gonna do my eyeliner really fast. I like never do my eyeliner, but I'm gonna do it really fast. Hold on. Coo coo coo. Okay, now I'm gonna do my mascara. But yeah, so I did it for Arabella's first birthday and I bought like the lash adhesive and like I did it myself. They looked so good the day of, and then I took a shower with them on, and like, I don't know if the same rules like apply as like the actual like professional ones, but like you can't like get them wet within like the first like 48 or 24 hours, I think, but I forgot, and I got them wet, and when I tell you they were the hardest thing to get off of my eyeball, like some of them fell off, but then the other ones, oh my god, they were so hard, I was getting like a q-tip and i was putting the remover on the q-tip literally nothing was helping it made my eyelashes clumpy and then i was like oh no like whatever let me just tough it out and like rip it off it ripped off like no joke like 12 of my eyelashes on this eye so now whatever i do like my mascara on this eye like, literally right here i'm missing a whole clump oh i'm using the elf mascara however i do not like this by itself like ooh, because it runs really really bad however when you put this on first and then you go in with the maybelline new york lash sensational makes your eyelashes look really really good and really really long number one it hurt and number two it took off literally 12 of my eyelashes so no more fake lashes for me. I'm just gonna stick with my natural. I'm also taking biotin to help them grow. Biotin is like a vitamin, not a vitamin. Is it a vitamin? I think so. But it's supposed to help with nails, skin, and hair. I kinda wanna get like a serum for them, but also like if I don't, it's no big deal. I need more of this mascara. Anyways guys, Arabella is literally going to be 13 months this month 
so sad about it. We go around and say, oh, you should be happy. Like, she's growing up. I am happy. My kid is so freaking smart. And the thing is, she, like, she's so beyond smart. She learned today how to open a door. She's 13 months. Like, who knows how to open a door at 13 months? She knows how to clap. She knows sign language. She knows, like, more, all done, water. She's just so smart. Like, I, kudos to myself because I taught her, no, I'm kidding. Literally, thank God for Miss Rachel because she has learned so much from Miss Rachel. I'm not even kidding you. I'm only putting like a little bit on my lashes. Okay, that's literally about it that I'm doing. Oh, my lip gloss. Let me go to my purse really fast and get the lip gloss. That sucks. I literally lost my favorite lip gloss or lipstick ever. I have no idea where, I have no idea where it is. But I normally use the Kylie, I don't know what color this is. 700 bare to line and then I go over it with the same lipstick, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna use my lip glosses tonight, fill them in with it. I'm gonna go over there and do it because I cannot look at myself right here and do it. I just did a horrible job, but I literally don't care. I'm like not good at lining my lips at all. Okay, so now I'm going in with 317 high gloss. Perfect. I really want to do that. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put dry shampoo in my hair extensions to help it like have like a little more volume than this. I'm using road trip dry shampoo. I I either love this or hate this. Like I still don't really know. Look who woke up. Okay, so I did change. I'm wearing this top. I have to cover my nipple because it's showing, but it's just like this little tube top. It's white with my dad jeans. So I'm probably gonna wear heels or my boots because it's starting to rain. See, look at my cheekies. They look so much better. So we said, rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Woo! Why are you looking at like that? Hey, don't pretend you're too cool for me. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Good. Yeah. Bye.